I'm thrilled to report that the heat rocker is done. This is a vile rocking machine that I built. It has uh, the ability to rock vials through a rotation of 90 degrees back and forth. And it can do it heated. So it has a aluminum rack here that contains the vials and it has a water inlet and outlet to allow the circulation of heated or cooled water. This aluminum rack is controlled by a pneumatic rotary actuator and this takes compressed air and rotates the rack either clockwise or counterclockwise by 90 degrees. And that actuator is in turn controlled by a solenoid valve. There's two solenoid valves here hooked up to a controller which has a basic stamp microcontroller and the ability to turn on and off these solenoid valves at the right times. So this whole device is hooked up to compressed air, a 12 volt DC source, and circulating water, and that is it. To get started, we take a partially filled vial and put it in one of the open positions. Now what's going to happen when it rotates is when this goes 90 degrees, the surface area increases and when it rotates back it decreases and that's the basis for forming our nano sheets. So we put it in an open slot. We can add an airtight seal over the top and this seal has an opening here which allows us to flow nitrogen or oxygen above the atmosphere of the open vials to allow us to do special chemistries. And there's a temperature digital readout here. We can read the temperature of the block at any given time. At the moment it's 47 degrees in here. So my workshop is not heated. <laughs> With the vial loaded we can now turn the unit on and it will go through its initialization routine and then uh, all the user has to do here is simply enter the wait time and the number of rocks. So in this case we have this set to a wait time of four seconds and four rocks and we can just start this and the unit rotates 90 degrees and it waits four seconds in this case and goes back to horizontal. While it's counting down you get an update on the screen and a little alert message so you can keep updated on what's happening. And that's pretty much how it works. I'm really curious to see what kind of stuff we can do with this. And I think this is ready to deploy in the lab.